<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, special guest, Professor Ron Claude. It's Ron. I'm here again. He is here again. And we are playing Element Sabers, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor Hobbsy, who is who was really a good sport about this. He originally wanted me to play uh, Element Sabers slash Chaos Dragons, which which is kind of neat. It could do some cool stuff, but doesn't really work in this modern age. Can't OTK, has no defenses. Uh, so I ended up going with this variant, which is obviously a more stun variant. Actually, I'm on the wrong... There we go. Element Saber Stun. <laughs> now <laughs> it looks better. I mean, it but, may look better, but the name is a little worse than this, uh, the Dragon Sabers. Yeah. Chaos Dragon Element Saber sounds cooler, but Element Saber Stun works a lot better. It's a go-first deck, more about shutting your opponent down for a turn, stalling them, and then attacking for a lot of damage. So we'll be doing that this time on, on What a Deck. Uh, if you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video there. I'll go over everything in here, just explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, it's 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you how it works, and hopefully... I don't know the line. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we are. First duel versus Atlas Core. Or Atlas Core. Score. Atlas score. Atlas score. And we're going second, which is not good because this is a go first deck. I think I mentioned that in the first one. Yeah, this is pretty suboptimal to begin with. But he's setting a bunch of cards. Uh oh. Whoa! Uh oh. That's sad. I don't think um, you're going to be able to do anything. We'll see. I've got Heavy Storm Duster. That destroys two spell traps. Ooh. So unless he activates everything, I might be doing something. First, we're going to activate this, though, because new Pot of Indulgence. Um, I, I think it's called... It's something to indulge in. It's called Pot of Extravagance now. They just released it in America, or it's getting released in Savage Strike. It's banish three or six cards from your extra deck. For every three cards you banish, draw two. Nice. This deck doesn't use its uh -oh. extra deck, so that's fine. I mean, we got hand-trapped, I'm out of my element, but that's... <laughs> that's perfectly... Oh. All right. Okay, we're gonna... Reinforcements of the army. He can't stop me from doing that. And we're gonna get this guy. Who's that? He's Lapulia. Lapulia, yeah. Lapulia. Which means thunder in Hawaiian. Ooh. Um, and his effect, in addition to the standard element saber effect that lets him change his uh, attribute in the graveyard, is you can discard an element saber to negate a spell trap. So Good that'll summon. help against all the spell traps. Well, let's see what he's done. Uh, so what? Like a so he can discard an element saber to do stuff. A lot of them have that effect. Mm -hmm. The field spell says once per turn, if you would discard something, you can send it from the deck instead. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. The field spell's amazing. Also, you can search cards. But if you do, you must skip the battle phase of next turn. Oh, metaverse. Hmm. That allows him to act... Okay, so I think what he's playing is... I'm going to assume it's Lair of Darkness, and I'm going to be like, Nah, dog, I ain't going out that way. Um, and we're going to send the fire from our hand, because he's nigh useless. I only play one of him. Solemn Strike, you fiend! Whoa! I'm out of my element! <laughs> it's like he's doing that stuff I usually see you do. Chaining stuff? Yeah, constantly. Uh-oh. Oh, he didn't activate it. Okay. I mean, that still sucks, but... All right, I can get this guy. I didn't look up his name in Hawaiian. I assume it's like bigger lightning or something. It might be light. Either way, we're going to uh, act. He his effect is you can send two monsters from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon him. Depending on the elements of what they are, all your element sabers get the following effects. Permanently. Permanently. Nice. As long as he's on the field. Oh. So we're gonna send wind, which makes him can't be destroyed by battle, and uh, dark, which means he can't be targeted by effects. So he can only kill me with, like, Raigeki, Dark Hole, Torrential Tribute, like, non-targeting destruction. Hey, strike. Or he can Solemn Strike me and just stop me from... Okay, no, that's fine. Said Heavy Storm Duster. Let me guess. This is Heavy Storm... No, okay, good. Oh, that'd been great. But yeah, that's... Your, your main play is get this guy out, because he makes... <laughs> All right. What did he just do? He passed without doing anything. We're going to activate another one. 
Don't Ash Blossom me this time. Are you going to... Son? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's Ooh, see this is, here. This is rough from the beginning. Yeah, we're going to... I can't attack this turn because I used the thing last time. So... Yeah, we're just going to normal summon this guy again. Yeah, what's he going to do about it? And I can't attack, so I'll set that. Um, in addition to all the effects this has, it's like, search, but you skip your next battle phase. Also, you can send stuff from your deck to the graveyard. Also, also, all monsters you control gain uh, 200 attack and defense for every different element you have in the graveyard. He ended his turn again. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. You really... <laughs> Three in a row! These really are indulgent. Yeah. There goes my extra deck. Hope I don't need it. Ah. That would be... Okay. We're gonna get this guy. He's Book of Moon on legs. Oh, I love legs. Um, I'm gonna put this to defense just in case. What do I have in the graveyard? Can you attack now? Yeah. So, see, I get I get 200 for every different element. Oh, I was wondering why he was 2,700 all yeah. of a sudden. So I have, like, two lights. So what I can do is activate this light guy, turn him to divine... <laughs> That's because a... that's an attribute. <laughs> Good to know. And that gives everyone 200 more attack. Jeez. Strategy. I think he's going to stop you. Uh, I don't think he can. But he could do hand nonsense. Or but not. Very few people play hand traps like Battle Fader or Tragodia these days. Well, he did already do a hand trap at yeah. you. Yeah. I think he's playing. Well, yeah, he's we done. Go. Yeah. I'm, I'm interested. Okay, like. Is this Altergeist? Go ahead and mark that down as a win. We'll be right back. I want to check this. <laughs> All right, we're here in the replay. Yep, definitely Altergeist. Altergeist with a whole bunch of hand traps, and he just did not draw the things he wanted. Is uh, that a Solemn Judgment? Uh, yes, Solemn Judgment is at one again. Oh, jeez. So you can Solemn things. Does it He's also playing everything? fucking Imperial, Imperial Order. Order. Yeah, which is also at one. It's brutal. They they uh, errated it though. What to so do? So it's like you have to pay the seven hundred. It's not optional. Oh. And you have to pay it during both player standby phases. Once per turn during the standby phase. Ugh. Yeah. They buffed it. Well, in a nerf sense. Yeah. They nerfed it. Well, you can't just choose not. Yeah, you can't just choose not to pay and have it go. But yeah, alter guys are all around this thing that's like summons itself when you activate a trap card and then summon something else from the deck. Ugh. So they're like all about traps and this guy, and he just got all of his traps and none of his this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I guess the other thing he said was this, which is like you could shuffle an altergeist from your hand or face up on your field into the deck and add one. Ugh. So he could have searched this if he had gotten any of his other altergeists, but he did not. So yeah, I, more of my opponent defeating themselves than me doing anything. But sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. You crumbled that cookie, sir. <laughs> and here we are in the second duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor Joe Average, the lord of Patreon himself. I love that guy. Highest donator, nice guy. Might start a Minecraft server for us. We'll see. Ooh. Um, we're up against Biggs. I think you had a joke to say about Biggs. Yeah, it's just like he rolls up. It's just Biggs. It's like, where's Wedge? I, I didn't get it. I thought That's it would be like a Biggie Smalls joke. No, what? it's a, it's a Final Fantasy joke. Am I going to get, yep, Ash Blossom. Every time. Again? I'm out of my element. This is very... Why do you keep going second? I, I went first this time. Oh. Um. So we're going to, we, we've got uh, almost nothing, but we've got this guy. Elemental Saver Malu. I didn't look up what his name means. I assume it means like darkness or something. Probably. That seems to be the pattern. We're going to set Metaverse. We're going to set Compulsory Spacuation Device. And we're going to go. And so this guy, what he does is uh, you can discard an element saber to flip a monster face down. Oh, is he the... He is Book of Moon on, on legs. legs. Yes. Yeah, you said that before. Okay. He's got a big sight. He's also on <gasps> the sleeves. Abyss actor. Yeah. He's going to be doing some stuff. Oh. This is like you play it in your pendulum zone, and then if you control no monsters, you could special summon it. But you can only use it once per duel. Per duel? Yeah. <gasps> Time thieves! He's gonna be thieving my time. This is new uh, America only archetype. Ooh. People aren't sure what it's based off. Detach one material from an XC monster. This card is normal, special summon. You can add one time thief card from your deck to your hand, except a copy of itself. Uh oh. Alright. You can only use each effect of it once per turn. 
So he gets to add a guy. But he has 1,800, and I have 1,900. Yeah, for now. Mechanical Chaser don't got shit on me. <laughs> Is Mechanical Chaser still relevant? No. Oh. You, you played back in those days, didn't you, when Mechanical Chaser was like... I played back when Mechanical Chaser was the bullshit, and Harpy's brother, and fucking Seven Colored Fish were awesome. <laughs> During the turn, they are special summoned. Ixie monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, and your opponent cannot target them. Alright, so how is he going to get another level 4? They're an Ixie archetype, so he has to get another level 4 monster on Before the field. Before you kill it. Yeah. He's not going to do that. Okay. He's probably going to stop you from acting with... Uh, I'm going to activate Metaverse. Metaverse lets me activate a field spell directly from the deck. Am I add it to my hand? No, I'm going to activate it. And now that the field spell is there, this guy can flip him face down. By sending, I don't know, this guy. That one. Get rid of him. That one. He's out of here. I just want to try to get more more things of different attributes into the, the graveyard as soon as I can. Oh. oh, hey. This thing is just glued to my hand. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm getting this so much. That's what happens when you stack a deck. Yay. Oh, hey, we got this guy, so we don't have to search it. You don't want to search in this deck if you can help it. Um... So we're going to send a dark, because we already got plenty of darks. What about, and is fire already in there? It's uh, earth or wind is what we need. Mm. Um, so I'm going to send wind. Because wind, wind's effect is to search an elemental saber. Pretty much the only reason I use wind is to search this guy. Wow. So, um, let's see. You could send one, then target an elemental saber and add it to your hand from the graveyard. So, I don't really need anything in my graveyard. Ooh. So I'm just going to get the bigger attack guy. <laughs> Listen to you. So yeah, this guy, indestructible by battle, untargetable by effect. If he has mirror force, I could be in for a bad time. But hopefully he doesn't have mirror force. Oh, it looks like there's no mirror force. Nope. He could have drowning mirror force. Uh, what is that one? Um, It can only be activated if your opponent does a direct attack, but it shuffles all their attack position monsters into the deck. Oh no, that's even worse! <laughs> It's even worse than destruction, because then they're not in the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, I like the different elemental air mirror forces they have. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it now, okay. He's doing it. He's not even going to penge a summon. Yo, what's up? Oh, 2200. He's, he's so big. Biggest guy. He's not big, that big. Big out of big. Uh-oh. Summoner monk. I forget what he does, even though I remember him. Uh, He could discard a... He could discard a spell and then summon a monster from the deck, a level 4. Ooh. So the two level 4s, he wants to Ixie summon. That's what the Time Thieves do. Mm. Their whole thing, they make these Ixie monsters, and then they, like, it's like, take the top card of your opponent's deck and equip it as Ixie material. That's fucking rude. And then their effect is, like, you can detach up to three materials from them at once, and you get different effects depending on if you detach a monster, spell, or trap. Ah. Whoa. He is faded. Fuck. I can't flip him, I can't target him the turn he's summoned. Um, uh, oh. So I can't do the things. I was hoping Scandios. he would use that first and then I was going to flip him face oh, down. Oh no. Um, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Target one time thief, attach one time thief card from your hand or deck to it as material. Yeah, their big thing is you want to have, his, his effects are like, if it's a monster, you can banish this card until the end phase. So he can just dodge out of stuff. Ugh. If, it, if he detaches a spell, he can draw a card. Hey. Interesting. He's got three monsters. Yeah. He it, can't. He still can't attack over you, though. Um, What's he doing? He's banishing himself. Why? I guess to clear out the extra monster zone? Oh. I don't know. Um, Maybe he was afraid you were going to do something. Well, I mean, it's during the turn there, special... Okay. Oh, and if he's gone, then is he considered special summoned when he comes back? Yeah, but this is not the turn he's special summoned anymore, so... Wait. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. It's the next turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then he can... Um, yeah, you know what? Double fuck you. I'm just gonna be like, no. Flip face down. <laughs> you can't activate your effect if you're face down. Go back to the deck. Thank you for coming. It's been a wonderful day. That's two for the books. That's two for the books. Yeah, that 
That's what we mean by stun. Like, you're not going to lock someone out of playing by flipping them face down. But if you could stop them for a turn, you could put up enough damage <laughs> that you could just you could just do stuff. And I got Monster Reborn, so he was dead regardless. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead into the third, third, one. third duel. Yeah. Time for number three. <laughs> and here we are, third duel versus Kaiser 90,000. Or is that 900,000? I think that's 900,000. Uh, that is, in fact, 900,000. Thank you, thank you. It's oh, hey, look what's glued to my hand again. It's like I'm stacking the deck. Um, and you have to activate this first, because if you, it says you have to do it at the start of your main phase. Ah. So some people are like, why don't you try to use this and then bait it out? It's like, I cannot. All right, so looking back on it. Oh, you're looking back at... For those of you who don't know, I keep track of wins and losses in a little notebook on a sheet of paper. I've scrolled back through this book to confirm which was the last time he won the first three. And it turns out that was Phantom Knights and Friends. That was a while ago. He has not won the first three duels consecutively since. Yeah, so this is... And he surrendered. <laughs> Do we count that? Yes, because I played some cards. <gasps> All right. It's fine. He knew. I, I was going to say, I have pretty much the best hand here. Because I started with, uh, if you get the, you, you want the temple more than anything. Yeah. We play like. The, you got to have a place to live. We play two terraforming, the three draw spells, <laughs> three of these, and metaverse. the metaverse. Just to get this, because it does so much for the, the archetype. So you want this, you want this guy. Because he's going to be like your What's opponent. What's that trap card? I haven't stuff. seen that yet. Uh. That one. The trap card. Your opponent cannot target Palace of the Elemental Lords with card effects. It's a continuous trap. Well. So if you put this up, they can't get rid of the field spell. Until they get rid of that. Yeah. Um, once per turn, you contribute a monster and special summon an Elemental Saber from your deck with a different attribute. That's phenomenal. Yeah. So what, what, I, do, what I would do in this case, if this had played out, is like summon this guy so I can't be targeted or destroyed. Summon Book of Moon on legs. Yeah. And then, like, I can discard this in my hand to flip something face down, then tag this out for the light guy in defense mode, <laughs> and also negate a spell by sending it from the deck. That's rude. So it's like, I have a flip face down, I have a spell trap negate, I'm gonna have at least three monsters in the graveyard, boosting attack, you can't destroy this, and I have spell trap removal. This is optimal hand, and it's a pity that I didn't get to actually, you know, use it. Yeah. <laughs> But that that that's fine. That's how uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh crumbles sometimes. You need to edit the graphic on uh, that guy. Just put little book of moons on his legs. <laughs> Someone, I need to go on. Fo <laughs> Maybe I should go on Photoshop and just like remove his torso and put a book of moons. Oh, there. there you go. <laughs> Everyone would know what you meant. Yep. And then I got to get the other guy's got to be dark bribe on legs somehow. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, let's go into the fourth duel. <laughs> and here we are, fourth duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor Chris W., the patron from Hong Kong. He sends us all these Japanese cards. Oh, man, he's if, way cooler than Chris R. Yeah, if, I don't know who that is. Oh, it's, um, it's the room. Oh, okay. Uh, he's a drug dealer. Going first once again. Let's go ahead and terraforming. And what, what were you saying looking back at more of my win records? Oh, yeah, I was looking back, and it turns out... uh. You have a lot of really, really significantly losing records. <laughs> go, I had to go even further back than your Phantom Knights to find one where you won the first four duels, and that one would have been your Crusadia OTK. Oh boy. Psy frames. Do a thing, if you get you're going to have a if, bad time. If you get better than six, we'll talk again. Okay. But, uh, since Crusadia is. So, okay, what I'm going to do, I got the searcher girl. I'm going to send this from my hand. I like her. She's cute. Because I want to be able to do, I want to be able to attack next turn. So I'm not going to use this to search. I'm going to use her to search. Ah. Then I'm going to use this guy. And we're going to send a dark and an earth. Brutal. Same things as always. Fire and water. We only play them with one because they're, they're barely useful. Mm. And then, monster reborn. And we're going to be like, yeah, that whole spell trap you searched, I'm not liking that. So we're going to get lightning up in here with 2,500 defense. And we've got a pretty pretty solid... I like your front line. I mean, line. we've got a negate. That's the, the important thing. I need to stop his field spell. If I can. What if he stops your field spell? He might. It doesn't matter because you have another one. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, uh -oh. I... What? Uh, assault mode. Interesting. What is assault mode? Um, there's like synchro monsters, and uh, 
Then there's like assault mode versions of them that are like main deck monsters that you get by using assault mode activate to tribute the synchro counterpart to get the stronger assault That's mode. That's a cool card. I like it. It's it's from like some uh, OVA on like the the synchro thing. Verse. Yeah. And then this guy, and then he could do stuff. They it was one of those things like they originally oh, had geez, like they're gone. They had like five monsters. A Stardust Dragon. Oh, this is you bad. You remember that? Yeah. You know, it looks like you're not going to get that fourth one at this rate. Nah, it'll probably be fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that. Let's send a water. Our one water. The water just gets stuff out of the graveyard. I guess you could stop that with Stardust Dragon. Yeah, if you can, tribute it. Nope, Meh. you're out of your element. <laughs> it's him, because he's the one who negates. Oh, he's done! So, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess because that's the thing. It's like, he has, he has Stardust Dragon. Yeah, he but... had Stardust Dragon, like, really fucking fast, too. Yeah, you, you can make Synchros pretty fast these days. Jeez. But he's like, I would have just negated Assault Mode Activate, and then he just would have been left with this, and I could just attack over it with Mr. 3K Booty over here. He's very strong. His yeah. booty is huge. Yeah, I'm Isn't not sure. Is he? I didn't, I didn't yeah, take a close it's, look. These are actually the same guy. That's why they're both light. Oh, jeez. He's got two swords. One is all wiggly, and the other one is, like, straight. And then this guy's got, like, the super wiggly straight sword combined together. Hmm. And he went Super Saiyan. I'm not sure if you noticed he went Wiggly super straight. I thought it was a helmet. Nope. That's just his spiky-ass hair. Nice. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. You know what? It's appropriate. This is the cookie episode. It, it's appropriate that uh, he'd go Super Saiyan, considering your name for this particular Oh, yeah, set. yeah. You'll have to comment in the comments if you understand the reference. It is not a Dragon Ball Z reference. Although it could be, because again, guy looks like he's going Super Saiyan. Yeah. There's lightning in the background, but that's not why I went with it. There's history, damn it! <laughs> history! Next duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Fifth duel versus the War Rebel. <coughs> Does that mean he went AWOL or that he's rebelling against war? I have no idea. Hey, look. Oh, hey! How many duel? Have I started with this yeah, every, every duel? time. Jeez. Super lucky. Admittedly, most of the time you don't get to use its effect. True. True facts about oh. the, the thing. <laughs> True facts about indulgence. Fuck it. <laughs> That's um, not great. Okay, no. This is actually good. We started, we got Monster Reborn again, too. So just as long as they don't negate this, we should be good. But if they could negate a search, they would have negated the other thing. Um, all right. And we have Dark and Wind, so this is perfect. Because that'll be the two things that I want to be. <laughs> there we go. And... Fuck, I'm dumb, but that's fine. Oh no. I was like, and then I have this, except for I have no element sabers to discard for it, and I don't have the field <laughs> spell, so I can't actually do anything with this guy. But he's a 2100 defense wall. This might be a problem. It might be. I mean, they're still all like, he can't destroy any of these by battle. So they're going to survive. No. His effects apply to all element sabers. That is why you need him first turn. Wow. And yeah, I was going to say, last duel, what I, sh I actually should have picked water or fire instead of doing what I normally do. Um, because he had, whatchamacallit. Reinforce your army. All right. No, that's fine. I didn't, what, what? What are you even doing? What even... What deck could that be? Why is it? What deck could that be? <laughs> what, I would... must see. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, he was playing Gradles. I see. Are you familiar with Gradles? Card of Demise? Is that the one I think it is? Um, uh, it's not like the one in no. It's the not. Anime. It's not nearly as good. I mean, it's still like if you have no, you draw until you have three cards in your hand. Yeah, but that's not fun. So if you could set like a whole bunch of stuff, you draw three. Um, but yeah, the Gradles are all like, if this card in your monster zone is destroyed by battle or a spell, you could target a face-up monster your opponent controls, equip this to it, and that monster becomes yours. Do they all do that? And if this leaves the field, then that monster is destroyed. It doesn't go back to your opponent. But yeah, they all do that, like, that one does it for if it's destroyed by battle or spells, battle or traps. Um, where's Eagle? Does he not play? Yeah, yeah Eagle's battle or monster effects. 
that's really strong. And then they have like a spell that's like destroy one card you control and one card your opponent controls, so you can destroy the spell one, something your opponent controls, ah! and steal their stuff. That's very good. The only problem is these cards target. And oh, and you made yourself I untargetable made right at the beginning. Yeah, so I could have just ran it over and he wouldn't be able to do anything because he can't target any of my mm. stuff. Is that a painful choice? Uh, no. Oh, no, further to the right. This? No, it's one day of peace. Yeah, one day of peace is different. It's got the same colorations as painful choice. Yeah, it's got six samurais on it, though. Uh. But, uh, you know, we'll go to the, we're going to the mid-roll thing. Are you familiar with the mid-roll thing? I'm not. All right. Hey, Hardleg Joe here. How you guys doing? You enjoying yourself? Having a fun time? Are you enjoying Ron Claude? I'm enjoying Ron Claude. Ah, he could do the smooth voice too. I'm just here in between the, the halfway point, in between the fifth and sixth duel, to remind you that I have a Patreon, and there's a lot of cool stuff on that Patreon. If you'd like to help me out and support the show and get some rewards in return, you, you, you can go ahead and do that. This is currently an ad-free channel, so that's the only way that I make any money. Although I might be getting ads soon. They might they might be able to turn that on. I don't know. I might have to hold a poll or something. They'll be very sparse. I'm probably going to put, like, maybe one ad every half hour or something like that. Maybe just one ad per video. I don't know. We'll see. This is all in the future. I might not even get them. But either way, all my money right now is coming from the Patreon. And even in the future, most of my money should come from the Patreon. So if you'd like the show to continue, if you'd like it to hopefully get better... And probably most importantly, if you'd like to get some rewards, like getting on the Discord, being able to claim cards from my unboxings, getting these neat shoutouts that you hear, or even requesting an episode, be sure to just check that out, patreon.com slash hardleggaming. But that's enough business for now, let's get right back into it. You should have gone with selling out. <laughs> but that's enough selling out for now, let's get right back into the show. After this delicious sugar-free Red Bull. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not even drinking Red Bull, drinking a slushie. From, <laughs> from Sonic. Hashtag sponsor us, Sonic. We need more tots. Ride the walrus. <laughs> All right, here we are. Six duel? Yeah, six duel. I should know this. We just came off the thing. And this is brought to you by uh, Storm Fox Presents the Hard Leg Patreon Shed, which is actually kind of a long story, but uh, basically one of my patrons... Uh, wanted a more active Patreon server, and so started their own server, made up of mostly people from my server, except his allows everyone to join in. Unlike my server, we have to donate a dollar. You can go there. You can um, get into the shed for free. Yeah, you can get into the shed for free. I'll put a link on the screen. I'll also put a link down in the, uh, the, the description for if you want to join. One of the higher tier patrons was like, please shout out the shed because I want more people to join it. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, I am there. I don't really interact with anything. The whole point of the shed was that I didn't have to interact with stuff. But I'm still there. So, you know, I guess if you want to annoy me or try to ping me until I leave the shed, you could. I don't know. Please don't Fuck. kick hard leg out of the shed. Yeah. <laughs> but it exists. It's there. You can go there if you want to tar talk to hard leg fans, I guess. But not hard leg himself. Or but, if you want to talk uh, to hard leg anti fans who are trying to get in the house, <laughs> something like that. I have no idea. But they got into a completely different house. It's that there. Is the shed. They they have a lot of like uh, tournaments. And Whoa, stuff. who's that? Um, that is Minerva, the exalted light sworn. Oh, light sworn. Yep, getting stuff in the graveyard. Drawn cards, milling cards, milling things, milling a million cards. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just be like, ha ha! Apply the effect now? Yes. Special summon. What I should have do? done this earlier. Hello, Book of Moon. I, I tagged him out for Book of Moon. Good night, Moon. Good night, Book. So, what does that do now that it's hanging out? Uh, it's just this? Yeah. Uh, just every turn I can tag out for something else if I want to. No. Uh -oh. Once per turn. So, I can fill uh -oh. more stuff into my graveyard. A dragon Shrine. Now he's playing that, because I uh, now he can activate his spell traps. Yeah, that's just like send a dragon to the graveyard. And then if it was a normal monster, you could send another one. Oh, no. But it wasn't one. It was Destrudo, the Lost Dragon's Frisian. Whoa, that's a cool-looking thing. Yeah. Why don't you play that? Um, Because it costs half your life points. That's pretty strong. Speaking of which, let's just go ahead and be like, nah. 
Actually, I should have let him pay his life points first. Damn it. You made I'm a dumb. mistake. It's fine. You can't get three things on the field. I should have maybe turned this face down, but I'm only taking 100 life points. That's barely any damage. Eh, I think the more important thing is that you won't have a thing anymore. Yeah, that too. But yeah, this guy is like, if he's in the graveyard, you can pay half your life points, target a level 6 or lower monster, special summon this card, and its level is reduced by that level. Whoa! And he's a tuner. So because he's level 7, whenever you target, he becomes less than that, so you always make level 7 synchros. Dang. It just costs you half your life points. Which, again, I should have let him pay half his life points and then flipped it face down. Yeah, this is, uh... As it stands, now I'm taking more damage. Bad, yeah. yeah. This Ugh. might be the first loss. Oh. He's dumping so many things in the graveyard. Shiranui's? He's got Shiranui's, Dangers, Performer Pals, Light Swarms. It's just a big box of archetypes. Everything that activates in the graveyard. Ugh. Just put it all together in a deck. Yeah, I think I forget. I think it was Stark Maximum, one of the patrons. He was talking about how, like, you know, whenever it's like full, whenever the the meta is full of archetypes, everyone's like, "Oh, I miss old Yu-Gi-Oh!" When it wasn't just all archetypes, when everyone's decks weren't the same. But then, whenever someone builds a deck like this, there's always this thing like, "You're not even like doing a strategy. You're just putting a whole bunch of random shit together, and it barely works." <laughs> no, this is this seems to be light sworn with other shit. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. It's hard to say because maybe we're just seeing the Light Sworn part of it. Well, we've seen like eight Light Sworn of it. And there's Trick Clown. Oh. And he's got Fairy Tail Snow. I think I'm dead. I think I am dead, unfortunately. You it, are a dead man. It's like I am bred, but with fundamental differences. Oh. Yeah, if he goes to the graveyard, he summons himself out. And then he can maybe, I mean, already he can attack for four, five. Or he could, like, make a link and then do stuff? I don't know. Let's find out. This this was a this is a deck that, like, you know, before Master Rule 4 would have been a lot more deadly because then he could have just made, like, another rank 4 or another synchro right here and mm. gone into stuff. As it is, this is blocking up his one space. Her with her big old owl friend and its giant hat that looks like a cup of ramen. Friggin' light swords. Friggin' light swords. Got 17 cards in that graveyard already. Yep. And this this girl can, like, banish seven cards from your hand, field, or graveyard. Summon it. Do it. And this guy's like, if he's banished, then you get to, uh... Oh. Pentastag. Whatever, nerd. Um, if you're linked... You monster, don't have any cards. Now you can make a synchro? Yeah, because this is a... No, this isn't a tuner. I don't know what he can make. There are no tuners it's on the weird. field. He made this a linked monster, attacks a defense position monster. It bleeds. And he ran! <laughs> time limit up? That What's time limit? There's the, this bar appears time. It slowly goes it, down. If you spend too long thinking about stuff. He, just, he was doing things constantly. No, he, I don't know. It felt like he was not when, unstopped. Whenever he does stuff like it fills back up again a little bit. Oh. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention, because yeah, it did kind of feel like he was doing stuff, but I guess yeah. he thought too much. Maybe it just didn't feel like that long, because we were talking, having a nice little chat. This and was a pretty good time. Um, you know what, I feel we were the real winners, especially <laughs> because he lost. You know what I feel like? <laughs> <laughs> you make a forceful argument, but, but, don't mark it down. Ah. Uh, we've got so many things where we've lost just because people surrendered. I'm not going to count this one. Can we count it as a half? We'll see. If we get another half win, we'll count them together. Okay. You know what? Don't mark it as a half I'm, yet. I'm going to put a star next to it. No, I'm, I'm going to draw a little clock. Draw a little clock that's half past two, and then we'll remember. Yeah. We've got half a duel. We might get another half. We'll see in the next duel. <laughs> and here we are in duel number six versus my arch nemesis player, showing his ugly head. Or I should say the real six duel. I got distracted by the fact that player decided to come antagonize me again. It's really a tragic and, story. And he let me go first. Wow. Have you heard the story of Darth Player? <laughs> I'm aware of the tragedy of Darth Player the Wise. 
They say he uh, fucked some shit up, I tell you what. I mean, it's not a story you'd hear from, a, you know, a Yugi tuber. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Uh, okay. I need to refine this lore. Yeah, we need to, we need to think of something. <laughs> are you are you aware of why players no. my arch nemesis? Uh, we got that. And should we go with Book of Moon on legs or Dark Bribe on legs? I'd say Dark Bribe on legs, just because he's got nothing yet. Yeah, we'll be good. Hopefully he can't just, like, summon a whole bunch of stuff and attack into this because it's not destroyed by battle and then we lose terribly. Oh, man. Surely what? that won't happen. All that right, happens player, what do you got? Yeah. <laughs> but no, if, if you don't put in a... If you don't... I'm going to break a little bit of the hard leg magic here. If you don't put in a name, it just names you player. I suspect it as much. Yeah, so it's the default name, but I like to pretend for lore consistency... That it's one guy. It's one guy. Whoa! Malefic Rainbow Dragon. For real? I still take the <laughs> Ouch. What the hell? At least it's just the one. That's a lot that's a lot of attack. Ah, oh, He just decided to slap you. <laughs> he just slapped me in the dick with the power of Zeus. Can um, you get over that? Well, I guess you could flip it upside down. <laughs> yeah, I could I could totally do that. I'm not gonna. Not right now. I mean, I am, but I can't attack, because I searched last turn. Oh, well, let's just flip it back then. Yeah, but I'll just flip it back, back again. <laughs> flip it back, back there again. There can only be one face-up Malefic on the field, and other monsters you control cannot attack. Wait, what if he summons uh, another Malefic? He can summon one, but then he can't flip that face up. Well, it looks like he decided to he flip it. He can just flip it face up. Oh, what's he going to do? Well, I'm going to wait for him to go into the battle phase, this, because if he tries to do it before then... This this criminal. Discard one card, add two dragons. How about no? That's basically like a dragon summoning Get clue. fucked. You're out of your element. <laughs> Is that what that said? Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Wait, no, stop. I don't want that. Eh. <laughs> go face down. Stop it. I like that one. That's You're the drunk. Earth one, right? You just threw away? Yeah. Earth, I think that she has the best design. She's the most, like, iconic looking. I like her shield. With the Yeah, with the huge fuck-off shield. And the fact that she doesn't have the muscle mass to just hold it. She's yep. anime. Is... Another? What? Yeah, he knew he was done for. Uh, well, I'm trying to think, because... Um, what do you put down? We'll never know. I mean, I could go to the thing No, and say, we don't it's... care that much. Yeah, but... we've already done enough of that. Yeah, her, she can search not only the elemental sabers, but also the elemental lords. Yeah, that's so, how you get uh, that guy. Uh, he's an elemental saber, too. Oh, I thought he was a lord. No, the lords are the ones that, like, you need to have five of the same attribute oh, in the right, graveyard. right, right, But the thing is, I could have used her, gotten that guy, who, if you remember, is, like, destroys all monsters when he's summoned. Yeah. So I, I had this pretty much down anyway. Mm. So we'll count that as a win and go into a seventh duel. Here we are in the seventh duel versus Sun Kame. Hame ha? V -I -V. Oh no! It seems like someone's caught on to your name scheme. And we're going second, which is no good, but as you said, we won seven in a row, and that has happened once. Once. Out of every one of these you have recorded. Yeah, which is not since the start. I've, I've it done... is, in fact, the best you'd ever done. <laughs> to be fair. We got a whole bunch of surrenders for some reason. But what that was... would have been uh, Odd Eyes Beatdown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Odd Eyes Beatdown is brutal. You lost the eighth. Cool. Uh, the way this is looking, probably going to have the same same outcome. Because um, he's got Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Oh, he looks tough. Yeah, he can change all... Well, hello there. <laughs> I don't have a graveyard to put him in, but that's... That's Fine. okay. Um, we're going to activate this. We're going to... Yeah, he can he can destroy a monster on his field or his hand to flip all the monsters I control face down. That's awful. So the one guy I have, the big, huge fuck-off guy, yeah. he can't do anything to stop that because it doesn't target and it doesn't destroy. Ugh. So what I'm going to do in an effort to... Uh, Desperately try to survive. I'm going to actually search Book of Moon Man. 
and then just flip him upside and, down. And see how he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> but won't that, uh, won't he just kill it with his dinosaur I mean, powers? Probably. He'll probably chain, we'll chain it to each other. We'll be like, mutually assured destruction, bro. You want to flip me face down? I'll flip you face down. We'll be flipped face down all over the place. Good thing I have two compulsory yeah, evacuation so you can devices. Yeah, just like pop him back to his hand and he'll yeah. be like, fuck you, I'm back. And then you'll be like, the hell you are. He, he can summon this pretty easily. You can summon it by banishing two dinosaurs from the graveyard or ultra evolution pill. It's pretty much the best thing. Yeah. Let's not run out of time. I'm waiting on him. Oh my! He's it's given his, his he's got a choice to flip it face down. <laughs> yep, and I'm just going to dump. Um, I'm gonna dump fire. No, I I might need fire actually. Ooh, wind. Um, yeah, wind. Cause wind just searches him. So face down. Hey, and its power went up. Yep, and then it went down again. Oh no. And he destroyed that, so he didn't have any other dinosaurs in his hand. But that's fine. We've got this, this, this and, and that. This. Um, but yeah, so the fire one, I barely use it, but his effect is send one elemental saber from your hand to send one from your deck. So he just lets you fill up the graveyard faster. Oh! Normally, you don't really want that, but because I already have this in hand... And you haven't gotten that thing that's been glued to your hand up until now. Yeah, I might have a chance to... Okay, battle phase. Because he can't summon it again. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not only can he flip everything face down, but if he attacks a face down monster, he automatically dis he automatically sends oh, it no to effect. the graveyard. I no hate effect. that. I yeah. hate that. And he can attack all monsters you control. He really is the ultimate conductor Tyranno. Very much so. Hey, that's pretty cool. Now I can stop his ultimate evolution pill if he tries to activate it. I can't attack this turn, though, so whatever that is, it's staying there. Um, well, he probably wanted you to attack it. Maybe. Either way, I got that guy. That guy is cool. Am pretty alright. Right. Um, I think you're done. Yeah, I could flip myself face down, but I don't want to. No. Battle, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Game doesn't... This deck is really difficult to play in real life because you have to remember that, and if you forget, then you get, like, all sorts of disrupted game states. Where it's yeah. Like, wait, wait, wait. Didn't you use that effect last turn? You can't attack this turn. Fuck. Yeah. Those are th these are the elemental lords I was talking about last time. The one I play. Which is what these are made of. I haven't really mentioned it this entire episode, but all these guys can change Whoa, their attribute in the graveyard. Um, add a level 6 or lower dinosaur monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, okay. That's a pretty big search. Yep. Dinosaurs were so bad for so long, they could give you something to let you search pretty much every dinosaur. <laughs> oh, he got that Alvaraptor again. Yeah. Well, that's mean. No. No, you're not allowed. I'm going to say... Wah, wah. <laughs> wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. You're out of your element. <laughs> Is Raigiki at one? Yes. Okay. He could have Dark Hole. That's also at one. Over Raptor. Caw, caw! I'm a bird, bird, pterodactyl. Hooray, bird, bird, pterodactyl. That's my favorite DDR game. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it. What's Giant Rex doing? Um, if it's banished, he gets to summon it. I'm gonna send that back to his hand again! <laughs> no! You go back! He's just um, gonna summon it again. You go face down. <laughs> because if I let him have two level 4 monsters... Um, he, synchros. Yeah, not not synchros. Uh, Ixies. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a very powerful dinosaur one. Well, you even ultra evolution pill. He's gonna do it. Damn it! You know you can't blame me though. I've been trying really hard. Yeah, you've been doing your best. <laughs> I did all sorts of things and stuff. I guess I could have summoned another. No, these these are pretty much the two. I believe yeah, they're. Yeah, you pretty much have done everything you could. 
Yeah. This guy can't attack. This guy has a lot of attack, but he can't attack directly. Oh, that's fun. Orphus Scorpio. All right. Oh, yeah. Not only does this send it to the graveyard, not only can it attack everything, but it does a thousand damage every time it does. Uh. This guy is fucking cheap as hell. But somehow, not, not meta. Because I guess if you get rid of him, then you get rid of him. Um, yep, that's yeah, not helping. Yeah, he's got no sets. Um, that doesn't help. One, two, three, four, five! Yes! All right. Um, you turn light. You also turn light. <laughs> he must you know what you're doing. Turn light. <laughs> He's like, he's not gonna, he's not, you are already light. I've made that mistake before when I had exactly five and I had turned that and it's like, you can't change him to light because he's already light. You done fuck yourself. <laughs> but that this time, I have exactly five special summons. Okay, so what does this do when it gets what, summoned? Um, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Let's see if it goes. Please go. <laughs> I would like to have gone, please. <laughs> I mean, he can flip it face down, but the effect is going to go through. His stuff is destroyed either way. <laughs> and I was like, well, I could destroy my own field spell if I wanted to. I mean, that's a thing. Oh! oh. That's so good. <laughs> um, Does that help? Yes. And then, you know what I'm going to do, just in case. Uh, I don't it's going to skip my battle phase, but you know what? It's oh, you're gonna fine. Summon this I'm going to get another Book of Moon. <laughs> <laughs> eh. <laughs> I can attack this time. <laughs> I will not go quietly into the night. You'll take 2100 and you'll like it. Oh, and now he goes to 2900. Uh. Now I just got to hope he does. If he drew another one of those. Damn it. <laughs> well, he didn't draw another one. But now we're gonna be now we're gonna be playing the face down wars. This is already terrible. <laughs> this has always been terrible for his long app. Yeah, he's got a no. It, I was like, if he's got a third one, no, he's got that over raptor again. Yeah, the over raptor lets him search when he summons. So then he can search the ultimate conductor, and then he can banish his other ultimate conductor and giant rex to summon it, and giant rex will come back, and then he has a rank four. Uh oh. <laughs> A kaiju? That's no good. Well, it has a lot of attack. <laughs> At least there's that. Let me see. What else does he do? This guy? Yeah. He does Your nothing unless you have uh, kaiju counters, and he doesn't have any. Oh. Well, there's the... Uh... He had the other one in his hand! <laughs> you fat hooker. <laughs> but he has to get rid of this to flip it face down. He has to do that to do that. He has to be this to be that. Did I already send the water to the... Damn it. I shouldn't have sent the water! You didn't really have a choice. The water can grab one from the graveyard so I can get my elemental lord back. Maybe you'll draw Monster Reborn. Wah! Kestel! The sky-blasting musketeer! Oh, you're done. Maybe? I'm gonna take 3,000... I can continue to search and continue to skip my battle phase. I'm not sure how long I can do that for, but I can do it. Not too long. Too long. Castell can't do that thing again, right? Nope. It detached all of its materials. Alright. Uh, Does that help? Give me. <laughs> I want another one. Um, yeah, I have one more. <laughs> I am going to force you to activate things, and you are not going to like it, good sir. Should yeah, he has no monsters in his hand or on his field. Should you put the other guy face down? What other guy? Uh, oh, this? Yeah. Yes, very much so. <laughs> eh. Um. He's got a fire. lot of fire. <laughs> Go face down, please. Why'd Castell die? Because he has to destroy a monster he controls in order to activate that effect. Ah. Uh. Um, yep. Alright. 
Isn't he just gonna flip it and kill you with it? Possibly. B only possibly. If he flipped it. He has to attack a battle fa face. He has to attack a face down monster. So what I can do is special summon. Bye. Ooh, Ash Blossom. You yeah. asshole. That negates, yeah. I was going to summon the, the, the big tall guy. Um, oh. What does this do? It's asking me to do another thing. You could send this card to your graveyard, discard your entire hand, then add an elemental lord monster from your graveyard equal to the number of cards you discarded. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for. Give it back! <laughs> Yo, what's up, buddy? You don't got no more monsters you can activate that effect with. I can feel oh, it. Oh man, why's the seventh one the big one? <laughs> I've never used that effect before. I, oh, because I never had an elemental lord in the graveyard and that on the field. I could tell by how you were bewildered by its effect. Oh, hey, another one. Um, how many do I have? How many lights do I already have? One. Okay, so I just need to. Two. Three. Oh, won't he just flip it? Up? No, it'll still be destroyed. I was gonna say, isn't he just gonna flip or, your shit upside down? He can't because he has to destroy a monster to do it. Ah! Alright, because it won't let you do it, you can tell that you need more. Yeah. It's like, I wanna make sure. There we go. Ah! I'm not sure if he can destroy himself. I don't think he can. Of course, I. Oh, he can. Okay. <laughs> like, I destroy myself. That's fine. I can't attack anyway. I can't attack for like five turns or something like that. No, I, it should be just your next one. Does it stack? I think this one and this one stack. Because how it works is like it skips the battle phase of your next turn, so you have to go into your battle phase to try to skip it. 4,000. Just in case, let's make one of these divine. <laughs> 4,200! <laughs> um, oh, and I'll set this just in case. Oh, I can attack! Yeah, it should only be your next turn. I don't know, I didn't look up the rulings for that because it never came up before. Ugh. This is for the seventh. This is for the one you never win. Oh. That said, he could just poke you with a stick and you'd yeah. fall over. It could poke me with a pillow and kill me if he can get around the- I did it! Oh! Oh! I have not high-fived in a long time. My hands are stinging, but it's the sting of victory! Oh, wow. Seven duels in a row. You are now tied with Odd Eyes Beatdown. Craziness. Absolute insanity. Woo. Who would have thought it from Element Sabers? This deck was notorious for when it came out, people were initially like, Look at this field spell. This shit is broken. And then, like, after everyone started playing with them, they're like, if they get rid of the field spell, you're ruined. <laughs> like, <laughs> this can't do anything. Which explains Although, why you have yeah. five instances of it in your deck. To, to be fair, though, like, like I said, when, with, like, with Hobbsy, he, a lot of people were like, this is a beatdown deck. It's oriented around you do this, and then you attack. Very few people were playing sort of this stun variant, and they're like, why would you have a beatdown deck? Where the main mechanic is that you lose your battle phase if you draw. <laughs> so it's like, maybe that's, maybe I'm playing them in some way, or maybe I'm just supremely lucky. To be fair, I haven't faced anything remotely meta, but we'll see. Let's go into the eighth duel and see how it goes. <laughs> and here we are, eighth duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor Brian Bruns, good old Dustleg. Oh, I love that guy. Yeah, he's, he, he doesn't say much. He doesn't, he doesn't interact much. I'm not even sure if he watches that much anymore, but he remains on the Patreon, so he gets a dang old shout-out. Whoa! Oh, hey, is this Dark Warrior? This might be Dark Warrior. No, it's more Time Thieves. Everyone wants to play the Time Thieves. They're stealing all your time. Ooh, that's a good idea, though. Their big, their big thing is, like, they want a trap equipped to them, because if they detach a trap, they can send a monster back to the deck. 
without targeting it. <gasps> um, but it's like, how do they get that? Well, they get this monster that can summon itself as a trap. Or they get this trap that can summon itself it's as a, a trap monster. monster. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what are you going to do about this? Uh, cry? Yeah. I might cry. This might be it. This might be a cry, crying type of moment. Depends if I get my field spell. If I get my field spell, that opens a lot of things. If I don't get my field spell, it shuts down a lot of things. Ugh, oh, Neji is too powerful. Yeah, trap. Place one card your opponent controls on top of their deck. Damn. So that's, again, it doesn't target. So summoning this guy, normally our big What thing, did he just useless. do? Uh, he equipped the top card of my deck to himself. My field! No! Ugh. You fiend! I dislike you. Um. Well, looks like nothing's beating our eyes. We'll see. We'll see about that rabbit. We'll see you just a day. Man. Um. Do the thing. Normal summon. What you think about that, day? Eh? Um. Set and oh, it has to be a face-up card. Okay, so I'm good. I'd flip him face down, but he has more attack than me anyway, so there's not really any point. Yeah. And it's... Yeah, it's a quick effect, so... Wow, that's strong. Time Redoer. All right, let's just go ahead and be like... Bye. Bye. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. And then he's going to shuffle this into the deck, and I'm going to be like, well, that's sad, but there's not much I can do about it. Yeah. And then hopefully he can't make another one. I mean, that's just how Mafia works. I suppose. Um, yeah, I could flip him face down, but it wouldn't do much of anything. And I could tag this out. Actually, yeah, let's tag this out. Yeah, that way he's got none to target. No, he doesn't target, so he waits until after it resolves. And he can send whatever back, but at least I'll have something in the grid. Oh! Never mind. Ash Blossom. Now he can send this back, which means I'll have less stuff. But at least I got a monster in the graveyard. Eesh. Yep, he's attached all three, so that's... he. Where's your pot? I don't know. I had so many in the first time. You did. Now they're gone. Now they're gone. You yeah. didn't see any during your last duel. He detached a monster, so he banished himself until the end phase, so he leaves. He doesn't get sent back to the extra deck. Then he'll come back, and then during my standby phase, he can just equip the top card of my deck, which he knows is a trap now. Oh, wait, no, I'm drawing that. It's during the standby phase. All right. 1,800. Ouch. Oh, most of this me. is not looking good. No. To be fair, this is brand new stuff versus stuff that's like a year old, so Ugh. that's something. But Ugh. if he doesn't equip a trap, I should be good. He got a monster. All right. Um, let me think about. Let's see, so this one can discard to summon one from the graveyard. You're going to put your spell or trap face down. Oh, face, yeah. Yeah. Wait, what's his face up trap or spell? Uh, it's like these oh, it's can't be targeted. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead. Two earth, not the best, but I can't be targeted anyway. He's got solemn strike. I'm fucking fucked. All right. We're good. I'm going to attack. I can't be destroyed by battle, so I can just ram myself into you. Oh, but he can equip one from the deck. I should have remembered that. Oh, he's just putting a monster on the... Okay. What's he doing? I don't know. He still died. Yeah. He didn't even use an effect to save himself. He just died. He could not have. Um, That's and, super weird. And then we're going to turn this to fire. I would have guessed divine. Does that help if you nope. make fire? <laughs> I just wanted to do, like, yeah, you may be winning, you may have significantly more card advantage, but that's a fire now. <laughs> oh, hey. He no! <laughs> what, what, what? But what? I'm in your darkest hour, he what? just gave up on life. What, what, okay. I got, I got it. I, we've done this so long, but I need to know, because I'm so befuddled. 
<laughs> what was your hand? <laughs> Target one time thief, attach one time thief from your hand or deck to its material. Yeah, so he could have he could have attached this as material from the deck, assuming he had another one. Maybe it's limited. No, it, th these are brand new. He only plays one. He only plays one of one of their most powerful cards. So he had no trap to attach. Because so he's what playing happened. he's playing spiral time time thieves. So yeah, so he couldn't if he if he played another trap, he could have attached that and then spun me back to the deck. And then okay. So it's like what the hell did he have in his hand? Because if he had any level four monster, he could have made another rank rank four Ixie. But he did not But he had this, which is like if your opponent does something in the graveyard, you can discard it to negate it. Which doesn't really help him all that much. Not in this case. This banishes something from the graveyard, which doesn't really help him all that much in this case. This has specifically to do with spirals, so that's not really helping him. Um, but yeah, the the thing was, like, I had this, and next turn I would have gotten that. So the mo I would have done 2,400 damage, and then he would have been able... Oh, no, he wouldn't have. Yeah, but he, he still would have had several turns to do stuff. Well, he would have had, like, two turns, maybe. Yeah, two or three turns, at least. I mean, he could have set this, even if it wasn't doing anything. Yeah. It's a monster. It could have eaten an attack. Yep. Either way, let's go ahead into the eighth duel. Yep. <laughs> All right. This is the eighth duel. Yeah. I thought last time was the eighth duel. It, it could have been. Did we? Did we confuse? I think that. Yeah, I think that was the eighth duel because I gave a shout out in it. Oh yeah. Brian Brun. So we're in the ninth duel. Ninth duel. Unprecedented. If it turns out it's actually the eighth, they stole our time. Yeah. It's it's because our time got stolen. Oh hey, it's hey, our good friend. He's finally back. I missed him. Guess who's back? Back again. Let's get ashed. Tell my friend. Oh, no ash. All right. Ooh, Ooh okay. Mm, ah, uh, mm, ah, yeah. mm, uh. I play Pot of Indulgence, oh. which allows me to draw oh, two, two cards. Uh, let's see. <laughs> but we don't have light or dark, which is what we really need you know, to stop from being... You've got that fire you never use. Put that metaverse down. Fire and earth. Let's try that. Uh, fire, earth. Eh. And then we'll normal summon Wawa. <laughs> the water. Nalu. Eh. Eh. Wow, you just played a bunch of cards. Yep, and then first turn, as soon as his turn starts, it'll be like, I'm going to Metaverse. Stop me. Uh, add it to my hand? No, I'm going to activate it. I'm going to be like, the water's like, yeah, I finally got summoned. I'm like, that's great, and I'm feeling really good for you, but... <laughs> I love you, goodbye. <laughs> I love you, goodbye. <laughs> I really want this guy who can negate the spell traps because I can be targeted by stuff, and I really don't want to be targeted right now. I'm feeling really targeted right now. <laughs> and I'm really not liking that, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Because, um, yeah, the, the fact that I could be targeted... Have? How many? This guy? Yeah. Three. Okay. Because we never see more than one at a time. Time thief! <laughs> Again? Um... Careful, this guy might be smarter than the other one. Probably. We'll see. I think... Oh. Everyone likes them because they're like stylish looking anime guys. They and are stylish looking and anime guys. And whatever this is. Time it's a Thief dog. Regulator. Control no other monsters you contribute this special summon two Time Thieves with different names from your deck in defense mode. So we got Winder and Beazle Ship. I think this is supposed to be based off like Doctor Who somewhat. I don't know. Because time... Timey wimey. I should have gone for Book of Moon on legs. It's like time based Phantom Thieves. That's all I know. Something. And there's the trap. But I can negate it if he tries to activate that. So as long as I don't have a trap on top of my deck for him to steal, which to be fair, I might. You might. <laughs> I play I play quite a few traps. Most decks do not play traps, which is why that, that, that effect is so powerful. Maybe that's why uh he usually only plays one. Maybe. It is slow. But yeah, I can negate that as soon as it goes. Granted, he's got a rank 4 toolbox, so he could make anything. He could make, like... What do you mean toolbox? Uh, there, There's a whole bunch of level 4 or rank 4 Ixies. Ah. Uh, in fact, there are more rank 4s than anything else. So, depending on what he has in his extra deck, he could have a whole bunch of rank 4s that he could use. It could be literally anything. I have a bunch. I have Baguska. You I have never Heartland play any Draco. Of these. 
I do from time to time. I like Barrel Load Dragon. How come you never played Barrel Load Dragon? Bo what? It's Barrel Load Dragon. Zodiac. Zodiacs. Laika. He's doing shit. Oh man, she's super cute. Uh, she's Chakanine in in English. That's the Japanese. Is it because translation. she's got a chakra? Chakra. Yeah. Chakanine. She's a canine. Are with Zodiacs a chakra. furries? Yes. Oh. They're furries, but they have giant mechanical arms. That makes oh look at tigers. They're all super fucking cute though. They're you know what? So I don't adorable. even care. Four bro. <laughs> Whoa. He's not. They just sort of. Oh hey. Nothing changed. How's it going, buddy? He didn't actually do anything. I yeah. I don't know what he was. What does that doing. do? This? No, boar bro. Boar bro. He can attack directly. Um, That's it. I believe so. Uh... Gains yeah, attack all, of all, all zodiac monsters attached to it and attacks. And it's, it's, this card can attack directly. Yeah. So I actually made a thing about it where it's like you get him with like a bunch of zodiacs underneath him and he has like forty eight hundred attack. Whoa. And he can't well, be targeted. Well, it says something and about shit. and it battle damage to your opponent while it has twelve or more. Yeah. Then you also win the he would have taken two goddamn. <laughs> you had many. So you've got zero. So I'm going to attack that. I bet he stopped you. You could try. Target one, attach one Zodiac from your deck. I don't, I don't want that. Because there's a Zodiac that you can attach that's like, if a monster battles your Zodiac, it uh, is banished. Whoa! And I don't, yeah, I don't like that. So, bye. Thank you. It's been fun. But. And then this guy's like, if something got destroyed, you could summon it. Aww. Oh, hey. Um. He's trying his best. So what I'm going to do, controversial, tribute this out in the battle phase. <laughs> Be like, what, what, you think you're going to stop from taking damage? You taking damage. <laughs> you taking a lot of damage. Hey, this is a good time to use your harpy duster. My, oh yeah, this would be a very good time. And he's like, aha, but now I can use my traps. And I'm like, aha, but fuck you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but fuck you though. Yeah, but fuck yeah, but but fuck you though. But uh, hear me out here. Fuck you. There you go. Oh, what'd you get rid of? It was the hack and his time fly back. flyback. Whoa! Yeah. You should have activated that. Mole Marad. If this card is normal, summon send one Zodiac from your deck to your graveyard. How'd they make a cute mole? Mole Marat. She's she's a rat. Um, I'm gonna flip you face down. Uh, wind. Goodbye. Yeah, the Zodiacs, the whole thing is their Ixies can be summoned on top of just one Zodiac. You don't need two. So he could just summon this, put an Ixie on top of it, put another Ixie on top of that, keep stacking, and then, so, like, grab one, their their cards are like, get one from the deck, get one from the graveyard, just equip it. So what you're saying is, he's got some fuck and some shit and some fuck and some shit and build the fuck shit stack. Pretty much. Uh, there's a song about that, isn't there? Yes, that I'm referencing a song. Take some foot and some shit and a foot. Suit oh, check. instant fusion! No way! What could make? Do people still do this? Instant fusion? Yeah, it's very. It's a free monster on board. Oh man! You could use it for Ixies. Oh. You could use it for Synchros. A thousand eyes restrict. I could be targeted. He's like, oh, you're targeting me? Well, fuck that! I'm out of here. <laughs> that's some. That's some old bullshit. Uh. Oh, and now he's gone. I don't have any light guys, so I'll just summon Earth in defense mode, because big shield! He's like, ah, damn it. <laughs> Link Karibo. Yeah, so you just get Thousand Eyes and just steal a monster. That's very strong. Yep. I'm very strong. Wait, Um. what if you kill Link Karibo? <laughs> then bad things happen for him. Um. All right. Actually, all right. Actually, okay, he just Whoa. surrendered. Well, then. I was trying to think. I was like, should I search? I'm like, no, I could use this, tag her out, get the wind, use the wind to search the... Uh... That training is really powerful. Yeah. That's, that trap card is absurd. I love the trap card. But yeah, use her to get the wind. Wind gets the elemental lord. Elemental lord blows up everything. Attack for 29 <laughs> plus 3,000. That's game. That's game. We did it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> he didn't even have to do it. We didn't, he didn't even have to surrender, but he did. And that's 9 Nine. out of 10. That's the most I've ever done. I've done it like three three times, four times, something like that. 
if we win this last duel, Element Sabers will be the first ten out of ten we've ever re- I've ever recorded. That's well. Let's uh let's not count our chickens before the hatch. On the edge of your seats, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the tenth duel. Watch, this is going to be super anticlimactic. I'm going to go in and get, like, immediately shut down. I'm going to lose to, no. Even worse, it's going to be a large, long, hard-fought battle against Neospatians that I lose. Very long Exodia. <laughs> Fucking Exodia. The duel opens. He o- hand opens Exodia. <laughs> That's to shut you down. Hard draws Exodia. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, what is that? We're going, I'll play one card and he'll surrender. And like, do 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 do. Well, there's the other half of the duel. <laughs> oh, this is really good. This is really good so far. I can't believe they ruined Shadows. Yep. That's what people are saying now. They want the free construct. But some people who people who didn't play con- Shadows are like, construct's fine where she's at. Yeah, that's what they said about fucking Stratos. And now he's free. I don't think there was anyone, like, the last two years who was like, Stratos needs to stay on the ban list. He's too powerful. Look, that's what he gets for hanging with the dragon rulers. He, he earned his ban. <laughs> then a lot of people are like, can we have just one dragon ruler? Just no! The, the, the wind one? That's the no! Worst one. <laughs> we just want the one. You had an entire summer of dragon rulers. That's my favorite bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! lore, is Dragon Ruler Summer. <laughs> when they fought against spellbooks. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Dusk! Oh. Is this the, the beginning of your end? Oh, because of the dusk. We're in the tenth duel. We're, Night is falling. We're 9-0. and oh, Brought to you by Patreon sponsor Doodle. We get to go first. We have the field spell. We get another one anyway. We get a second field spell. I don't think he can stop the search. We're going to get the search. Activate. Um, We're going to get... Good old mana. I like him. Let's stop us from being targeted. We'll send a light and a wind. Because again, wind searches can be fine dumping it. You could dump earth too. It would do the same thing. There we go. Plus book of moon on legs. Normal summon. Plus set two. Obviously, if this was the one trap, this would be infinitely better. You don't want two of the same things. Especially if this guy is playing a monster deck. Yeah. Let's see what happens. What is he playing? I'm is, standing dog Marin. Is this another... T- it's Malefics. All right. Um, Can we do anything about when that? When using this card as synchro material, the other synchro monster is one Malefic in your hand. You can't do anything about that. So he can make Malefic Paradox. I mean, I could flip it face down, but I'm not afraid of Malefic Paradox... Time Lord Progenitor Volgate. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. You take no damage from attacks. At the end of the damage step, if this special summoned from the extra deck battle, banish all monsters your opponent controls. For the rest of the turn, any battle damage your opponent takes is halved. During the end phase, if this was effect, special summon as many monsters banished from your opponent's field. So what we're saying is flip him? If I flip him, I have to battle him at some point anyway. But you can't do anything about him right now. Yeah, we'll just flip him. I'll just, I'll just fucking flip him. You get a flip. Fire goes away. I don't want to deal with that. I mean, he banishes my stuff. They come back. Yeah, but under I... his control. Oh, under his control. It's a special no, summon as many monsters that you banish by that effect as possible to your opponent. Oh, some special summon them to your opponent's field. Okay. Wow, I completely misread that, and thank goodness. That's horrific. Yeah, so these would come back, but they would have his effects. I believe would not be activated because he wasn't summoned with that. Yeah, that'd be awful. It would reset his stuff. Malefic territory. All right. Oh, this is bad. Maybe I th- this is brand new. When this card is activated, you can activate one malefic world directly from your deck, and if you do, neither player can target field zones. Um, malefic monsters. The effect, there can only be one face-up malefic on the field, or malefic monsters become, there cannot be a face-up malefic monster with the same name. Okay, so you can control multiples, except now you can't. <laughs> Fuck you. Does he still get the, uh... No, because it was a continuous. Oh, so he doesn't get the yeah, effect for free? 
Necro Valley. All right. What? Malefics need a uh, field spell in order to exist. Oh. Can be special summoned by removing a cyber end from your extra deck. There can only be one face-up Malefic on the field. Other monsters cannot declare an attack. So yeah, that says you can have more than one Malefic, and also their effects are negated during the battle phase, so they can all attack. Ugh. So just attack for a lot. Um, there's no face-up field spell. So I searched last time, so I can't do stuff. Um, I really need to find a way to get rid of that. Do you I want to you put what. your legs in defense mode? Um, let's... Okay. It destroys Necro Valley? I'm going to destroy both field spells, because he needs a field spell to exist. <laughs> oh, uh, dang. And I can't battle. And it came back. <laughs> um... Add one from my graveyard, but he's got like 4,000, so I don't want to put a monster out that can not do stuff. Yeah, and he's just going to roll over you. Yeah, so I think I actually want to put this to defense, because it can't be destroyed by battle anyway. Yeah. For now, and then pretty soon you're just not going to have anything. You can banish all monsters for the rest of the turn also. Oh, it's at the end of the damage step. Yeah. So wouldn't something already be destroyed by then? Oh, could I not? Was I in the battle phase? And just couldn't? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to wait for him to go into the battle phase. He's in the battle phase. Yeah, I'm not going to take any damage, so I think at this point it's better to just, like, we'll just let him, we'll just let it happen. See what happens. Hopefully he can't summon something in the battle phase and attack me for 6,500. I don't think, what? What? He didn't expect you to let it go? What? Why did it banish? Why did it... Nothing got banished. What I, happened? I, okay. Let's read the card. <laughs> cannot be destroyed. You cannot take battle damage. At the end of the damage step, if this cause special summon from the extra deck banished, you can banish all monsters your opponent controls. Also, for the rest of this turn, any battle damage your opponent takes is halved. During the end phase, if this effect was activated this turn, special summon as many monsters. Um... I, I don't know. Maybe because he wasn't special summoned from the extra deck if we flipped him face down? I don't know. Either way, these these would come back. He'd still have 3,025. This would be gone. He'd have a 4,000 at most. I could flip it face down. I could yeah, grab something yeah, yeah. else. So I think I won either way. I think that's that's 10. 10, ten for 10. That's, that's 10. Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing 100. It took 175 episodes. But we went 10 and 10 with fucking element savers. Uh, <laughs> Great job! I don't. I didn't expect this. I expected this to go like 6 and 10 at the most. 6 and 10. 6 out of 10. <laughs> 6 in 10. It's, it, I'll see you on the end screen. <laughs> oh, did I say this duel was uh, brought to you by Doodle? Because this duel was totally brought to you by Doodle. Doodle is responsible for the 10 out of 10 that we got. At least, uh, in, uh, That's in what spirit. the history books are gonna say. That's what the history books will say. Thanks to him down in the comments, another Patreon sponsor. I got a little wrapped up in I the mean, 10 out of 10 I mean, think dusk. about it, though. You couldn't have done it without all of them. I couldn't have done it without all of you. Every one of you watching, everyone who liked comments, all the patrons. But especially Doodle. <laughs> I'm happy I could be here for this. That, the, the... <laughs> 175 <laughs> episodes! The first time, 10 out of 10. And again, it's this deck. How did this deck of all the decks, everyone was like, elemental sabers suck. And I guess they kind of do. But I guess uh, we just we just happened <laughs> to get that time when... uh You fell in the stupid hole. Yeah, it, all this new stuff is out. All the new malefic stuff. All the new assault mode stuff. And all the new uh, time, time, time thieves. thieves. Which are all, like, mediocre kind of decks. They're really good. Yeah, and people didn't know what they were doing, and they surrendered after they made a mistake, so... Take it with a grain of salt. 
like with everything I do on here, they're random duels, so it was bound to happen eventually. Hey. But, you know, Elemental Sabres, thanks to Hobbsy once again for, for sponsoring this. Uh, thanks to Ron Claude for being here. It, I'm happy to have been here for this one. The, 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 this was quite a feat. I'm happy with how this turned out. Uh, hopefully we'll do... I I can't say we'll do as good next week. I know we won't. But what if you did? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not next week, next episode, but... Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I, I've got two decks lined up. It's either going to be uh, Time Lords or uh, Shiranui's. We'll see. It depends which one I can build better. Run which one's Time the most Lord fun. Omega bullshit guy who they're, almost fucked you at the end. They're, they're even better Time Lords than that. You'll, he's very good, though. Yeah. I, I mean, he's alright, but you got to synchro him. Either way. <laughs> we'll see. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, good luck. And have fun. You did it! <laughs>